of change, the Volkswagen Group is on the move with great people and passion and unique brands with character, identity, and performance. The common foundation, four powerful technologies. We will introduce the most competitive architectures for the BEV transition and create the single future backbone of automotive electrification. We develop battery systems that include customizable yet unified cells which enable scalability from volume to high performance. Our software-defined vehicles will provide a holistic customer experience. We will offer the full range of mobility from usage from minutes to months, from individual usage to shared autonomous robo-taxis. Future mobility will be a technology game and we aim to win it with products, people and passion. Volkswagen Group. Shaping mobility for generations. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Oliver Blume, CEO of Volkswagen Group. Good morning and a warm welcome to this year's Volkswagen Group press conference at the IAA Summit. It is a great pleasure to see you all and uh, a honor that you are so interested in the future of our company. The Volkswagen Group is a truly unique company with its size, its incredible brands and its strong team. Today we want to give you a look into the exciting journey we have mapped out. We will talk about vehicle architecture, battery and charging, software and mobility solutions. The strategic orientation of the Volkswagen Group is an integral to our 10-point plan for the future. And we have already made great progress in all relevant fields. We are also very aware of our responsibility for the environment, which is why sustainability is central to our plans. It is a key component in long-term value creation. Vehicle architectures have always been an essential part of Volkswagen's DNA. This competence differentiates us from the industry mainstream. Modular platforms are our secret source that allow us to offer highly attractive cars with great value for money. The next evolution of our PPE and MEB Plus electric platforms will be introduced as early as 2024 and 2025 at the next step of our BEV transition. PPE will have the capabilities required for the premium and luxury segment, while MEB Plus will also be a significant upgrade of the current architecture for volume models. It will definitely be an upgrade that our customers will notice. However, our clear goal is to move to the SSP architecture as the one single future BEV backbone. Let's ask two great experts in this field. Thomas Gernot, where can I find you? Over here. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Oli. And uh, Volkswagen is indeed the global platform champion with over 45 million vehicles built on the modular transversal toolkit, the MQB, up to now. And with the MEB, we took it, the platform strategy, into the electric age. And we are continuously updating our MEB platform for customer needs. And you can already witness this with our current new products, like, for example, the ID7, with new software functions and a range of up to 700 kilometers. And in the final stage of the development, we call it MEB Plus. It's 10% more range and efficiency, less than 20%, le sorry, less than 20 minutes charging time, uh, increased performance and acceleration, and uh, software and infotainment functions that get continuously updated. But it's not only about technology. It's also about brand, about design, and emotion. 
And with the ID2O, we are proving that we can and we will stay true to our promise for e-mobility for all. This ID GTI concept that we are showing here at the IAA Mobility demonstrates the enormous potential of the MEB Plus in terms of package, in terms of um, variety, and cars that are truly emotional. So there's more to come, much more to come. Stay tuned, and for now, over to Gernot. Thanks, Oli. Thanks, Thomas. The shift to e-mobility at Audi is also progressing successfully. Sales of our electric cars have gone up more than 50% in the first half of this year. And with the Audi Q6 e-tron, Audi is kicking off the next level. It's so great to present this product on behalf of the entire Audi team. The Q6 is the first model built on the new premium platform electric PPE, jointly developed with Porsche. The content of the PPE is quite impressive. Drivetrains with a range of more than 600 kilometers, innovative battery and charging technology based on an 800 volt system and a new electronics architecture. Today, we focus on the interior. The Q6 e-tron is the first Audi to offer a new panoramic display an augmented reality head-up display and, for the first time, a passenger display. The production of the Q6 e-tron and the assembly of the in-house battery in Ingolstadt shows our strong commitment to e-mobility made in Germany. So, the Q6 e-tron is the next major step for us and I look forward to the journey ahead. Thank you, colleagues, for your fantastic overview. Now let us move to the next pillar, battery and charging. Battery development is one of the key areas for success in the future of the BEV-driven automotive industry. For Volkswagen Group, our brands and our customers, battery strategy is of outstanding importance. The battery system will allow us to deliver the most attractive, emotional and affordable electric vehicles. And we are fully on track. Being able to fast charge at speeds of up to 270 kilowatts enables competitive charging times across battery sizes. Let's discuss this with Thomas Schmal. Thank you, Oliver. Charging battery are indeed core technologies in the EV world. They are key to innovation, economies of scale, and added value for our customers. That's why we have made it as a core business of Volkswagen. Bundled under one roof at Group Technology to unleash the group's full potential. Our emerging battery and charging business is fully on track. The global charging network is growing in Europe, China, and in the US. We are planning more than 40,000 fast chargers until 2025. About half of them have already been set up. And we are entering the energy sector with new and smart solutions. Our battery company, PowerCo, is ramping up at full speed. Experts from all over the world are joining our team. We are developing a groundbreaking technology with our unified cell. The key to significant cost savings and sustainability. One battery format for up to 80% of all group EVs with tailor-made chemistries for all segments. We will soon announce the location of Europe's leading plant for cathode material. A joint venture with Umicore safeguarding our raw material supply chain. And we are building up three gigafactories for cell production in Germany, Spain, and Canada with a total production capacity 
of up to 200 gigawatt hours. We are also well on track to become an e-mobility enabler beyond the Volkswagen Group. In addition to Ford, we are now in the final stages of signing the supply deal with Indian car maker Mahindra. We will equip Mahindra's electric SUV range with MEB components as well the unified cell. The agreement will enable Mahindra to push e-mobility in India, one of the biggest and most sensitive markets worldwide. So stay tuned for more to come. Thank you. And now Oliver. Thank you, Thomas. As you have heard, batteries and uh, vehicle architecture will be crucial for our future success. One key element of our top 10 program is Carriot, our software company. For the Volkswagen Group, the intensive expansion of our software expertise is and remains key for the company's success. Our customers want inspiring products, especially with their software. And that's a worldwide imperative. Volkswagen Group is committed to succeed in this journey by focused development. As you know, we have made quite a lot of progress in this area by developing a comprehensive five-point plan for Carriot. And we also introduced a new management team. With this in mind, I would like to introduce my colleague, Peter Bosch, CEO of Carriot. Thank you, Oli. Yes, we are currently driving a transformation movement with the implementation of our five-point plan. <coughs> Point number one, of course, is to deliver the one or two platform for Porsche and for Audi, as can be seen by the q e-tron. It's ambitious and it's complex, and we are making good progress. Also, the ID7 on the stand is making us proud with the latest one on one software, which is mature and which is competitive. At the same time, we are paving the way for the software-defined vehicle. Our next-gen 2.0 architecture will be a state-of-the-art software backbone for the whole group, always with our brands, with economic scale, and with our customers on our mind. And these are only the first two points of our five-point plan. We will make carry it a better, more efficient, and more competitive real tech company. It feels great, Oli, that we all stand together to make software a competitive advantage for the whole Volkswagen Group. Thank you, Peter. Lastly, coming to our fourth platform pillar, let's talk about mobility solutions. Our platform integrates options for all mobility needs. You already know our established offerings, such as leasing and uh, financing. Now we are expanding our portfolio. This includes subscription services, rental as well as car sharing, and scooter sharing through third-party providers. All mobility solutions in one place. That sounds very convenient, doesn't it? Hildegard Wortmann will tell us more. Please, Hildegard. doesn't sound either. Perfect. Anyway, welcome. And it's very convenient, Oliver, to have our app and our customers are absolutely loving it. We kicked off a pilot just recently in Vienna and now we are rolling out our new mobility platform, Germany and Europe, step by step. This platform is a game changer. It's covering all of your mobility needs from rental offerings for some hours to leasing for several years. And in addition, we are soon adding some third-party services like e-scooters or public transport for even shorter usage periods of just a few minutes. The entire ecosystem will be available at our customers' fingertips in just one convenient app. This 
is another important step of the Volkswagen Group to evolve from an automotive manufacturer to a mobility provider. And as vehicle ownership becomes less important, we all know this, especially for the Generation Z, the prospects are very promising. The global market size for mobility solutions is expected to grow very fast over the next years, and we are going all in to seize this incredible opportunity. But today, we have even more exciting news to share, and I'm happy to invite my colleague Christian on stage. Christian, tell us more about it. It's going to be exciting. Thank you. I think my microphone is working perfect. Yes, indeed, today I have some additional exciting news for you. Bike leasing is booming. There's a high demand from companies for their employees, and it's another attractive profit pool that we aim to exploit. That is why we perform a joint venture with our long-term partner, PON, from the Netherlands, the largest bicycle manufacturer in the world. As you might know, Porsche also recently concluded two joint ventures with PON in the field of bicycle drives and electric bikes. Our goal is to grow our bike leasing business globally with a strong focus on Europe and the US. With this, we're leveraging the global trend for sustainable micromobility, winning and delighting new customer segments, and driving our transformation to becoming a mobility provider. By the way, not too long ago, back in the 70s, the bike was the most important means of transport in China. A lot has happened since. Ralf, could you tell us how all four strategic pillars, architecture, battery, software mobility, play out in China, the now largest automotive market in the world? Ralf. Okay, Christian. Okay. So, thank you, Christian. China is now the most competitive market in the world. The age of the intelligent connected vehicle, so-called ICV, is now beginning. Therefore, speed, customer centricity and profitability are crucial. Volkswagen is consequently adapting to this. Above all, we are focusing on more development in China, for China, Zai Chonggua, Wei Chonggua. By this, we make even better use of local innovative power and respond more quickly to the needs of Chinese customers. To, to this end, we are leveraging the power of our joint ventures with Saic, FAW, and JAC, while at the same time expanding Hefe into an ultra-modern innovation hub. The Volkswagen Group China Technology Company is the group's largest, largest R&D facility outside Germany and will focus exclusively on developing the latest EV and ICV models for China. And we are building up strong local partnerships. With Thundersoft, we will jointly develop infotainment systems. For autonomous driving, we have agreed a collaboration with Horizon Robotics. And together with Goshen, we will produce the next generation of highly competitive battery, battery cells. Even the unified cell will be available soon in China. Recently, we entered into a strategic partnership with Xiaopeng. Together, we will work on two mid-sized models for the Volkswagen brand, Market Entry 2026. At the same time, Audi will develop additional electric models for the premium segment together with Saic. Ladies and gentlemen, Volkswagen is accelerating to China speed, Chunghua Su Du. And on the other hand, we rely on our strong joint ventures and our global architectures. On the other hand, on new partnerships to complement our own technologies. Our goal, we are going to play a leading role in the world of ICVs, and to this end, we are preparing now for the next technology leap. More to come, stay tuned. Back to Oli. Thanks to, to all my colleagues uh, for the fantastic overview. As CEO, one of my goals is to create long-term sustainable value. The Volkswagen Group therefore understands sustainability as a holistic approach, covering all business areas. Values create value. We have outlined clear plans and defined clear responsibilities to continuously deliver progress and results. 
as a large group, we have real impact. Sometimes we act in smaller steps, sometimes we have large-scale projects to build sustainable value. Michael will now give you some insight into one of the largest scale projects within the group. Michael, what can you tell us? Thank you, Oli. Well, one thing is absolutely clear. The world needs a solution for CO2. To stop global warming, we have to reduce emissions drastically. You know that Porsche is committed to the development of e-fuels. In our view, they are a useful addition to electromobility. They have the potential to reduce CO2 emissions from existing cars with combustion engines. Together with partners, we have built an e-fuel plant in Chile, just like that. Production has been running since December last year, and this uh, plant demonstrates that e-fuels can be produced on an industrial scale. But reducing emissions won't be enough. We also need to remove CO2 from the atmosphere permanently. At the same time, we still need CO2 as a raw material to produce plastics or chemicals, for example, or non-fossil energy carriers like e-fuel or e-methanol. So we need a way to obtain it also in future, but without fossil inputs. So why not bring these two tasks together? Well, that's exactly what we at Volkswagen Group Innovation and Porsche are working on. With direct air capture, or DAC for short, a promising way to obtain CO2 in large quantities by filtering it out of the air. So we teamed up with the experienced Volkswagen Group Innovation Team, MAN Energy Solutions and our well-established e-fuel partner, HIF Global. Together, we want to help accelerating the DSC technology. First, to bring it on a higher maturity level. Second, to further position it in public perception. And third, yes, also quite simply to show, hey, it works. DSC technology can be built up independently and scaled in a modular way without relying on the existence of industrial or biogenic sources. Besides renewable energy, the only input it needs is environmental air. The CO2 obtained in this way could be stored permanently in the ground or utilized as raw material for industry that should no longer rely on coal, oil or gas in the future. We can also use it for making e-fuels. That's why we are thinking about integrating a DSC unit into the Hari-only plant in Chile. But first and foremost, we expect valuable information on how to master and improve DSC technology. In our view, DSC could be a key technology for the future. In the context of energy, or even more so for climate and for sustainability. And with that, back to you, Oli. Great. Very interesting, and thank you, Michael. Quite a journey through our ambitions and achievements in technology platforms and our sustainability strategy. Seeing this project convinces us we are on the right track. We have focused on doing the right things right. We have delivered specific results. We have made decisions at high speed. And this marks just the beginning. It was a pleasure to share our strategic insights from the Volkswagen Group with you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending the Volkswagen Group press conference.